Yo, what's going on guys, man? Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be unlocking the platinum camo. Yes, already. Oh yeah, and if that wasn't crazy enough, I got a nuke to unlock it. What? I haven't slept since the game's been released. I'm sure you guys know earlier today, I dropped the gold camo on the M4. Since then, I carried on playing and got gold for every single assault rifle. And now we have the platinum camo. And let me just say, a lot of people will be surprised with how this looks. Talked about already for this grind. If you guys could do me one favor, man, please just drop a like on the video. I'm going to set a goal. I haven't done this in a long time, but since we've got Modern Warfare 2 and we got the camo grind, let's go for a thousand likes on this video in less than 24 hours i know you guys could do it so drop a like on the video of course if you are new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the videos at the time of recording this i've been up for over 24 hours man <laughs> for those of you guys wondering what the camo challenge actually is to get platinum so of course you have to get gold for every single assault rifle all of these i've got it for the m4 the scar the ak i've got it for the lackman the stb the m16 the cast off which is the 74u and also the cast off 545 i've got gold for every single one of those and then you unlock the platinum challenge the assault rifles get 25 long shot kills very tedious i won't lie i'm gonna be showing you the crazy fast paced nuke that i got to unlock the platinum challenge and also of course some platinum camo gameplay for the assault rifles man but hey without further ado get your popcorn sit back and let's get into it oh, yeah. As one. As two. As three. That's four. Confirming next hard point. Step by. Counter UAV. Location updated. That's five. Within the area. Wait, did I just get a nuke? Did I wait, did I just get the nuke whilst unlocking it? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold up a second. Is that what that is? I think we just got a nuke whilst unlocking gold for the last AR. Friendly UAV on station. Confirming next hard point. Man, man, I'm getting a little bit too good at this game now, I won't lie. Make sure you guys drop a like, but hey, I'm chilling. This is, it's 10 a.m. I've been up for like 24 hours now. I wasn't expecting this whatsoever. I'm just glad I'm recording down. I'll be honest, the only reason I am recording is because I knew this was the final gun I was going to get gold. Well, the final assault rifle at least, but hey, let's, um, let's call in this nuke. 
I guess. <laughs> Cobalt boys, I will take that. Oh, AK-74, you nuke. Oh my God, what a W. What a W. If you guys haven't already, make sure you drop a like on the video. We're going to be checking out the Platinum Challenge and then also the Platinum Camo once we do that. I'm sure it won't be too difficult. Damn, it ends the game too. All right, boys, let's check this out. We go over to Gunsmith and we should have gold or the AK-74U, which means now we can unlock Platinum on each of the ARs now too. So it works a little bit differently. You now have a Platinum Challenge for each of the assault rifles that you've got the gold camo on. So you don't just automatically get given Platinum. You have to still unlock it by doing this small little challenge. 25 long shots isn't too bad. I kind of feel like unlocking it on the AK for whatever reason. I feel like unlocking Platinum on the AK. So let's get 25 long shot kills with this thing and then unlock the Platinum camo so I can show you luck. By the way, I wish I could have got more hyped about that nuke. I'm just so tired. I'm tired, man. All right, boys. I felt like it was only right for us to hop on ground war just because I feel like this should be, should be the easiest for us to get the long shots in. We need 25 of them. I don't play ground war, so I don't know this map whatsoever. Need one more, boys. One more. Did we get that? Oh, come on. My shots hit. I think we got it. Yo, that is the worst pop-up ever. Get me out of this game right now, please. And let's officially take a look at the platinum camo in Modern Warfare 2. Finally, we got it unlocked. We've got every single assault rifle gold. Let's get into some gameplay of the platinum camo. All right, let's do it. Let's take a look at the platinum camo. It's on the same map that I checked out the gold one too. Wait, yo, that actually looks a lot better in game than I thought it would. Damn, for some reason in game, I thought it'd be a lot darker than that, but that actually doesn't look too bad. I like the look at it. Unless it's this map just gassing these camos, bro. I don't know, but I actually don't mind this. This is definitely like the best platinum camo we've had by far. Modern Warfare's platinum camo, terrible. I remember, you guys remember platinum on World at War? Not World at War, World War II, terrible. So, you know, this is definitely an upgrade for sure. I remember when he first switched to platinum. I was like, what are you guys doing? I, I'm so confused because I don't know about you guys, but gold always looked better than the platinum camo. But platinum, you'd always earn after gold. So it was like, what are, what are we doing here? You know, like, I don't understand the process. Like, why am I unlocking a camo that's worse than the gold camo afterwards? Now, nah, I don't think this is... I don't think this is better than the gold camo by any means. But... Wait, where did... Yo, did he just appear out of thin air? I don't think this is better than a gold camo by any means, but it looks good. Like, it's a very clean camo. And I like that. I like that a lot. This AK is kind of cool, by the way. Wow. If you guys don't know, I've stayed up all night. Like, literally, I've been up for around... Oh, well, over 24 hours now at the time of me recording this video. I still need to edit it, get it uploaded, and all that different stuff. So, I've honestly been hella hella dedicated today in order to get these camos for you guys to see early like you know not a lot of people have the platinum camo right now i'll probably you could probably count on one hand the amount of people that have got platinum camo on the ars probably three i don't know i know of one person so far two people actually so you know not many people have got it and i'm sure a lot of you guys haven't seen it in full effects like this too so no i'm glad to be able to bring that to you guys that's always like the best part of these grinds like seeing the comments afterwards of like what you guys think and all that different stuff after this you know after i get this video done i am going to sleep for sure this is coming from someone who has done a lot of camel grinds in the past pretty much all of them i will say this has been one of my most enjoyable oh my god this has been one of my most enjoyable ones by far just because it's not too difficult it's not too difficult at all now there's a lot of controversy there's a lot of controversy going on about which method is better. It being a really, really difficult challenge, you know, to get the camels or it to be really easy like the way it is now. A lot of the hardcore grinders when it comes to camels are a little bit upset about this one just because, you know, it's a little bit easy. A lot of people are going to end up with the camels. I don't mind. You know, I really don't mind. We really haven't got long to Warzone either. So it makes sense for the camels not 
have to take too long. Hold up, watch me ego challenge this guy. There we go. With that said, the challenges are easy. Don't get it twisted. But the fact that you have to rank your weapon up in order to, you know, actually be able to complete certain challenges, I think that makes it a little bit better because it doesn't allow you to complete the challenges straight away, which means it is still quite time consuming. Not the most time consuming we've had, of course, but it's definitely not quite just, oh, get 50 kills, blah, 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 blah. What the flip? You still have to wrap the gun up and stuff like that. So, you know, there's still that part of it. But in that sense, I guess there still is a grind aspect to it. You know, it's not... Bro, I always click. I always click the nade button. So, yeah, I guess in that sense, it is still like a grind. Wow, I killed two people with that. Let's uh put that right here. Bang, bang. This is the weirdest map ever, by the way. Weirdest map ever. Nice, Brad. I think next I'm going to move on to the SMGs, most likely. Try and get those done. I'm trying to get all, like, the longest grinds out of the way because a lot of the other categories have a lot less weapons. Typically, you know, I would go for a category of a small amount of weapons just so I can get, you know, the diamond or the platinum in this case very quick for you guys to see. But, you know, with the process in this game, I decided, you know what, sack it. Let me just go for the ARs. What the hell? Turn around, boys. Yeah, so let me go for the ARs off rip. And it worked out, I guess. This is like the perfect map to test camos on. It's probably the worst map in general in terms of practicality. Like, we just got a thin lane just full of explosive cars. Like, are you serious? I also want to talk about how I'm getting these camos so fast because that seems to be a very common question when I drop videos like this and this quick. Everyone always seems to ask, how are you doing it? Because I want to do it too. So first of all, I will say is one thing. You kind of have to be good at the game. In order to get it this fast, you know, you have to have a certain skill level and, and that's just the way it is. You know, in order to get the kill challenges done quick enough, you know, in order to level your weapon up fast or the fastest possible, you're gonna have to be able to get a lot of kills in the game so in order to do that you probably gotta be pretty good at the game and that already gives me an advantage you know other people that are pretty good at the game because i play this all the time and you know typically those people that play call of duty all the time and are better at the game you know you guys will have a better idea of how to get these camos quick anyway but for those of you more casual people maybe that you know play the game a little bit less often than us and want to know you know the best ways and best tips i have in order to get platinum in order to get all the gold camos as fast as possible To rank your gun up quick, you want to play Invasion. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but there's bots in Invasion. And basically, once you kill a bot, I believe, and I could be wrong, it equals five normal kills in a normal game mode in terms of XP. So you can rank your guns up way faster in Invasion. I usually just run to their spawn, try and find as many bots as possible. I don't even focus on the actual enemies. Then I just go crazy with that. Typically, what I do as well is I'll rank it up until, you know, maybe I've got the third camo rank. Right here and then i'll start focusing on these two or at least i'll start focusing on any of the challenges that i need to so this one you know 20 kills whilst mounted it needed focusing on because i don't mount at all so i get these three unlocked start focusing on whichever challenges i need to do and then naturally i will have leveled up to get this final camo right here then i could complete that and then finally i'll do the gold challenge and that's pretty much it the main tip is going into invasion and killing as many bots as possible because trust me you rank your weapons insanely quick i'm telling you i've just realized that i'll have to do all these platinum challenges for every single weapon that i get gold so it's going to be pretty tedious it'll probably take longer than we all think and then we've got flipping challenges specifically for the polyatomic and then once we've done all of those for every weapon we've got specific challenges for this orion which is going to be a while so i don't know it's going to be a longer grind than a lot of people think for sure but i'm down